Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where entertainment is what I do. Um, and in the spirit of doing what I do, I want to try to keep hope alive. I want to try to keep hope alive. What is you talking about, D Real? What is you talking about keeping hope alive? Well, when it comes to Black Panther, um, at least the printed form of Black Panther, I feel like we can keep hope alive with that. How are we going to do that? I'm about to tell you in a second. But before I do, I need y'all to do what y'all always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to be real with D-Real page so that when new material comes out, you get alerts like this right here. If you're digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the Be Real with D-Real page. Check it out. Okay, um, last week I did a video uh, and gave my comments about how I felt about what was going on in the Black Panther comic book that is currently being written by John Ridley. Um, not even Alex Ross covers <laughs> can save this book. It is just, things are being done to the comic book and the character of T'Challa that just simply should not be in comic terms, y'all. And that's what I'm saying. The bottom line, John Ridley, I'm going to just come out and say it, bro. Uh, you probably given your current run on it and what's going on. I mean, we haven't even seen the conclusion of the Long Shadow storyline. And that should tell you something right there, that mugs don't want to see the conclusion of the Long Shadow storyline and are kind of like, okay, just we done with whatever it is you're doing. Go back to Hollywood and do whatever it was you was doing and tell this guy to come back and start writing Black Panther. Yes, that is none other than Kevin Gravu. Um, writer, actor, voice actor, producer, and, and, and just all around dope human being uh, out of Chicago. He was born originally in, uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So, you know, a lot of creativity comes out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, as we've seen. Um, also, a lot of killing of young black men by police officers comes out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, too. So let's not uh, let's not forget the uh, stain along with the shine. Uh, what's my man's qualifications for writing a Black Panther comic? Basically, the same qualifications as John Ridley and Reginald Hutland, plus a little bit more. What little bit more? Um, Reginald Hutland and John Ridley do not have degrees from Howard University in microbiology, chemistry, psychology, and genetic engineering. Damn, Kevin Gravu, what are you planning on doing in the not too distant future? He also owns two comic book studios, Dark Storm Studios and Astounding Studios. Dark Storm Studios is the comic book studio that focused on things like I, Frankenstein, and of course, the, the smash hit um, Underworld, the Underworld series. Who doesn't know about the Underworld series? Is the Underworld series well-written? Eh, those first couple are okay, but then after about, after Rise of the Lycans, it starts to jump the shark at that point. Um, I ain't saying he can't flop, but I'm saying he got a lot better chance of making Black Panther more interesting than John Ridley does, straight up. Uh, what? He did a run on New Warriors. Uh, it was met with fair to Midland, but Kevin Gravu's run on New Warriors is it was decent, okay? And of course, he is the creator of the Blue Marvel and 
did the limited series, which I am covering on my page right now, Adam, the Legend of the Blue Marvel from 2008. Um, why wouldn't this guy make a good writer for Black Panther? Not that it not it has anything to do with it, but he's got a dope voice. My man sounds literally like thunder. Um, when Underworld came out, a lot of people was like, "Is his voice? Uh, is his voice being enhanced? Is his voice being altered?" Nah, that's that Negro's voice. That's how he sounds when he talks. I know, dude, like that. I got a partner named Silverback that's got like a really thunderous voice like that. It's very distinctive. You can't, you you ain't never gonna mistake his voice for somebody else's voice, period. But my point being, I think Kevin Gravu is an amazing choice. I just, he sounds like the only thing stopping him from writing on Black Panther, of course, would be the approval of the higher ups at Marvel and Kevin Grabu himself, because it sounds like he has so many different projects and so many different things going on that he wants to do that he probably wouldn't have the time to do a Black Panther comic book. But if this video gets to float now in the ether, and, 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 and Kevin Gravu manages to see this video or this video somehow comes before Kevin Gravu's eyes. Kevin, my man, do you see what's going on with Black Panther? Black Panther is an important and pivotal character in the African-American diaspora. His story needs to be told. His, to his story needs to be told with respect and his story needs to be told with honor. Something I think a lot of other people in the movie industry and the comic book industry have a great deal of difficulty comprehending, understanding. So I'm saying to you, brother, uh, you more famous than I am. <laughs> you, you, you do more stuff than I do. You, you, you're that cat. You're out there. You're making it happen. You're making things happen. You see what I'm saying? So I, I'm, I am asking respectfully, if you get the time, man, check out the run on Black Panther currently. I think it's at about issue seven right now. And if the mood strikes you, step in. Say something to John Ridley. Give him some pointers or some ideas or something or to kick some flow like what you kick in your stories and your movies and stuff. I ain't saying every movie that you do is the bomb because, uh, bruh, I, Frankenstein, could have been done just a little bit differently and, and just a little bit better. But that notwithstanding, I don't think that disqualifies you for being a writer on Black Panther, for being the writer on Black Panther. Yo, we need to chop. They already trying to kill him in the movies. That they're going to kill him in the movies. They have already announced they ain't never ever putting him in another movie ever again. Well, at least not while this one's out. Um, and I feel like that's a disservice, not just to young black men, but to old black men and to black women and to anybody who isn't black that loves T'Challa, the character, and wants to see it done respectfully and definitely not see him murdered off in the movies. So, Mr. Gravu, I know that is a lot for you. Hey, that rhyme. <laughs> I'll be on time. And let me stop. Uh, <laughs> I know that's a lot. And you are already a very, 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 very busy man from what I can see. Um, but, bro, if you find it in your heart, man, to make it like a love project or something like that, man, come put your foot in Black Panther. And I know you wear like a man, like a 15 or something like that. Um Come put your foot in Black Panther, man, and, 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 and show your uh, fellow screenwriter, John Ridley, how it's done. 
Um, oh, shouts out to my man, uh, D. Steasel, for being the inspiration for this video. Uh, yeah, I, well, I already told you I was going to do it. Look at here. Bam, it's done already. Yo, what do y'all think? Do y'all think Kevin Gravu would make a great writer for Black Panther? If you do, drop it in the comments. And as always, I will be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good. We got each other.